It's not that it, there we go. Now it's gonna play. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut this down here so I don't have any sound here. Whoops. We had a bit of a buffer under on there. That's it works great, you know, if you can see anything. Um, pretty much stream just about anything. Uh, anything you're into, it's there. Everything's there. Um, the little boxes work great and uh, you know, but I use it more for streaming um, content off of a hard drive or off of off of a memory stick. So I was having trouble streaming 4K from a hard drive before. So I'm going to try this in a minute, but I just want to go into how we're going to dual boot this thing. So we'll shut this down and I'm going to boot it up. I'm going to remove the SD card, so I'm going to unplug the power. And I'll remove the SD card and I'll plug it back in. And now it should boot into Android. And I went back to using my uh, class 4 memory card. It's, it's fine. There we go. There's the Android boot of this unit and it will boot up and there's the Android version and I can use the remote control here to should be able to use the remote to control this thing where is it? The mouse works why is the remote not working? No that might explain why it's not working the remote is turned off so we'll turn the remote on and now the remote works okay let's back up here I can load up Film on, Kodi, whatever else is installed on here. Here's Kodi 16.1 loading up from Android. So there's the, the old version. And again, everything's here. If I go to add ons, go down to Prime Wire. There we go. I also just figured out that uh, this thing doesn't like being pointed towards my plasma screen. The uh, Plasma TV gives off enough infrared that it blocks the remote on this thing, which is a problem for some remote receivers. So don't put it near a Plasma TV. Uh, I can go back and I can do the same thing. I can search just like I did before, right? And here's the, the old version. So I can do it with the remote on here. I'll just search out the same thing, Homeland. The reason I'm using the remote on this is because Many people that would buy one of these things are buying it to hook up with their TV and they're not necessarily going to have a, um, a keyboard, whether it's wireless or wired or a mouse plugged in. Um, whoops. Might, might help if I learn how to spell. So it's nice to be able to uh, use a remote control, like a hand remote to uh, control it if you just have this hooked up to your TV for example where I'm probably going to put this in my system my equipment is in a closet and I have a, an infrared link from my media room to the closet so I can just use the, the, the basic remote and have full control so personally when I set this up in my own setup I'll be just using this remote control so there we go back to uh, Again, I don't use I don't use these things much, but I, I'll have it set up so that I can use it if I desire. And again, let's say when I set this up in my closet, I won't necessarily be using it to watch stuff off streaming off a TV. In my case, it's going to be for watching content that I've got stored on. Uh, a USB stick or something else that I want to play back uh, which I can currently do with my my blu-ray player anyway but there we go that one's playing uh, on this one as well now if I shut it off if I unplug the power again and now I'll just put the SD card back in and it should boot up off of the SD card it should boot up Kodi 17.1 without me having to do anything other than put the SD card back in which I've done and there it goes
my remote control does not work. So let's go to settings and I get this Pulsate CEC adapter can initialize. I have a feeling that's probably why the uh, Wi-Fi is not working. Uh, system settings it should be a remote control input and enable mouse and touchscreen configure attached controllers Is there by chance a remote control? But my remote control is not doing anything on this on this unit. So continuing, I haven't been able to get the the included remote control to do anything on this version yet. I'll be working on that and if I come up with a solution I'll let you guys know what it is. But Let's just play around with a few more things on this. If I go to videos and I go over to video add-ons. So here's some of the other options that we've got. Like Earthcam's got webcams. Oh, YouTube. Wonderful. Execute setup wizard. Why not? Uh, better tell that I'm in Canada or I might get some language I don't understand. Uh, I'll just pick English. There we go. I don't want to sign in. But I'm going to look for my own stuff. We'll see if it'll and we'll play a, uh, I'm not on a 4K TV yet either, but we'll try that in a minute, but let's uh, search. Search my channel. Hey, what do you know? There it is. Daily limit exceeded. What the hell is with this? That's the problem. Uh, I couldn't do that with the last one either. I, it wouldn't let me. Uh, it wouldn't let me go to YouTube, even though I haven't streamed anything. That seems to be a problem with Cody, and YouTube it doesn't seem to uh, work that well. So screw that. I'm going to plug this thing into my 4K TV and see if I can stream some 4K content right off of a hard drive. And then uh, when that, if that works and it plays it in 4K, then we're done. I think when I'm ending up, when I'm going to end up running this thing, I'm probably going to end up running it under the Android version anyway just because I need to use this if I'm going to be using this unit I need to use the remote control okay I've got it now plugged into the 4k TV I'm going to select videos I'm going to go up to files and I've got my hard drive plugged in which is drive number 18 and uh, well this is the um, this is the uh, file that I just did it's a 4k video uh, the test that I did for uh, my x33 camera with the polarizer, we'll see. Aha! So today is Good Friday on, uh, what is today? It's the 14th of uh, April. Looks like it's playing it fine. So here we go. And this looks to be playing in 4K. I can certainly confirm that. Let me just uh, bail out of this thing here for a minute. Uh, where's my stop button? I want to stop this. Just want to go to my settings. I'll just go back. And we'll go to um, settings here and verify that it is in display resolution. Oh, it's 1920 by 1080. Interesting. So it's playing the 4K video, but it's only playing it in uh, 1920 by 1080. Interesting. Okay, I just rebooted it because when I powered it up, the TV wasn't plugged into it. So let's just see whether I'm able to change it now. Uh, no, oh yeah, um, yeah, I can go to here. We go, 3840 by 2160. Aha! I like to keep the settings. Yes. Okay, now I'm into uh, 4K mode. This is looking promising, looking very promising. 
Uh, player settings. No, uh, let's go to videos. Get out of here. Back up. And let's go down to videos. And we'll go to files. Drive 18. Okay, whoops, that's the root directory of all the files. Let's go back to the edited video here and see if it plays. And we have a problem, Houston. The, um, you coming in and see me? I got a couple cats here that are watching me. Uh, it's not playing. It's not playing 4K. So even even running uh, Kodi 17.1, the, the box is outputting uh, 4K to the TV. And as you can see, when I played this 4K file, it, it played it fine in 1080p, but it 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 won't play it in 4K. And this is a 4K file when I when I had the when I had the video output set for uh, 1080p at 60. It played it fine, but it's just not handling 4K video files uh, in 4K. And because of that, I'm giving it a fail again. You know, it's, it's a, for, for what it costs, this is a cheap little player. And uh, for what it costs, if you're only looking for a 1080p, hey, it's going to do the job. But uh, they, they call it a 4K player, and it doesn't do 4K because... Um, if it's claiming that it can do 4K, well, it can't. It, it doesn't play it under the native Android player. It doesn't play it under Kodi 16.1 running under Android. And it doesn't play it under Kodi 17.1. And that's running under basically a very small shell of Linux is what this is running under. And um, no, uh, it, sorry, doesn't cut the mustard. Um, doesn't do what they say. Thanks for watching.